Our top story this morning, South Korea's foreign minister is at the forefront of Seoul's diplomatic efforts to strengthen cooperation against North Korea's continual provocations. Speaking at the UN General Assembly in New York, Yoon Byung-sae also questioned whether the North deserved a place within the United Nations. Gwon Soa starts us off. South Korea's foreign minister Yoon Byung-se held bilateral talks with his British, German and Bolivian counterparts Tuesday on the sidelines of the UN General Assembly in New York. The UK's foreign minister Boris Johnson agreed with Yoon that North Korea's nuclear tests present a serious threat and said that the UK as a member of the UN Security Council will do its part to help craft a new resolution against Pyongyang's provocations. Yoon asked Berlin's top diplomat Frank-Walter Steinmeier for greater cooperation on the bilateral and European Union fronts in enforcing sanctions on North Korea. The two agreed that South Korea and Germany are important partners, sharing the pain of being and having been nations divided. Yoon also met with his Bolivian counterpart David Choquehuanca Cespedes, whom he thanked for releasing statements condemning North Korea's fourth and fifth nuclear tests. Cespet is stressed as a country that pursues peace, it is against the North's nuclear tests which threaten peace and security. Given North Korea's continued violations of its obligations at the UN, Yoon also questioned Pyongyang's distinction in the organization. During an interview with the Associated Press, Yoon said all UN members should ask themselves whether North Korea is qualified for membership. The two Koreas have been members at the UN for a quarter of a century. Yoon also called the North a, quote, serial offender, adding the Security Council must close loopholes in existing resolutions. The minister also welcomed U.S. President Barack Obama and Chinese Premier Li Keqiang's agreement earlier this week to work together on North Korea issues. And while the minister will continue his diplomatic efforts in New York for the rest of the week, South Korea's representative to the six-party talks on the denuclearization of North Korea will make a visit to Beijing Thursday to talk with his counterpart on how to effectively deal with Pyongyang's ongoing threats. Kwon Arirang News.